I'm a 9 through 12 teacher, and while I was one of those kids that moved around the country quite a bit when I was younger, um, I understand the need for some commonality from state to state. That's why initially I supported a lot of the common core, because as I moved progressively from Kansas City, D.C., Atlanta, uh, Louisiana, I got the dumber and dumber. <coughs> So we need some commonalities and common standards. However, I think we've gone over the top because we were promised less with more depth and we have more and we're skimming the surface. I have kids that are leaving my classes who don't have a real understanding of some of the mathematics I've taught them because we don't have time to focus on it. Let alone if they don't do well, they go back and reteach. The, the, the time doesn't exist because I have all of this material and I have to cover within a year. I agree with you. I think we need to set something up because not every kid that I have is college material. They're not going to college. They don't need algebra two. They need something that's more practical. I used to teach a consumer math class. They did away with it. Okay? Um, those are the kids that walk up to me on the street and say, thank you. I really use this stuff, you know? And I don't know how we fix it. I don't know where we go when we study some of these other societies that come up with these solutions. I know that NEA spent quite a bit and over the uh, overseas, but what are you going to do to help us get some of these kids who are not college bound to buy into the importance of education? That's, that's the biggest problem we face. They see no value in, in learning. How do, we, how do we change that? I think a lot of what we're talking about with social emotional learning mm -hmm. and the trauma-based care really helps these kids connect to each other and not be so afraid of school and afraid of their teacher and afraid of learning because they're in an environment that people care about them and they're they're loved <laughs> to break it down mm -hmm. and so it's more of an encouraging environment where everyone's connected and literally taught to like through the through the curriculum taught to interact and, and and care about each other. There was one, I saw one, because uh, I'll go and sit in the classrooms, and there, just to give you an example of how this works, they they did the book uh, Stella Luna. Mm -hmm. You remember that book where, I can't remember, the bat? The bat. So the, the bat was, thought he was a bird, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. So they go through this whole thing, and they read the book about the bats and the birds, and then the bat found out it was a bird at the end, and the bird found out it was a bat at the end, but they were all they all got along. So they, the, the exercise after that was they created this Venn diagram, and they put, okay, what was the bat like, what was the bird like, and then what in the Venn area, what did they have in common? And then the breakout session was these kids would get with each other, and they would have to do the same thing. What do we have different, and what do we have in common? And, and I was watching this little white kid and this little black girl with dreadlocks uh, sit there and do this exercise with each other. And, and the uh, little black girl says, um, what do we have in common? And it was like, we both have eyes, we both have hair, and she, then she got stuck. And she said, we're both human beings. Mm -hmm. And I thought, mm -hmm. boom. There it is. And I think when you connect with kids and have them connect with each other on that kind of level, that the fear goes away, which is basically why kids are afraid to learn, right? They're, or they don't like learning, they're afraid. They're afraid they may fail. If you fail and you know the community around you is going to lift you up, I think you can get through a lot of that. And the evidence bears it out. Yeah. 